Welcome back to my channel. This is the second part of Windows registry using in case. In this video, I will go through a system registry file and SAM file using in case. I will show you how to find the last recorded shutdown, date and time, some network information like the IP address. Also, we'll discover the computer name, then we'll go to security account manager the sam file where we'll find username password hit and so on let's start to view windows system registry you need to go to <clears throat> windows then system 32 and config then you will find the system file you need to right click on it Enter is view file structure. This is how you can mount uh, the Windows registry file. Okay, this is how you can mount the Windows registry file. Then you wait a couple of uh, seconds, less than one minute, because it's not that huge size. Yeah, now we can click into uh, this registry file, the system. Double click on it. Now let's dig deeper into system Windows registry. First thing, what we notice here, there is control set 01 and control set 02, and each of them has a number of files. But let's try to find which the last control set the computer put from. To know this, you go to select then the current, this is the current control set. Then you click on hexa value. And this hexa value show us it's the 01 control set, which is the last machine booted with. Okay, the last machine booted with. That means maybe the 002, the 002, maybe this is the last known good control set the machine put from okay then let's find the last recorded shutdown to know the last record shutdown we go to control set 001 not 002 then we go to <clears throat> system sorry just a second we go to controls. Within controls, there is a Windows file. Windows. And shutdown time. Here is the shutdown time. Okay. If you click on the shutdown time and the hexa value. You highlight the hexa value. Let's see the report if there is anything. But let's go through the hexa value. If you highlight this hexa value, it show nothing. But the good thing with in case you can decode this hexa value. Okay, you can decode this hexa value. You can go to decoder and here is it. Windows date and time. It's 25th of March 2015, and it was shut down at 3 p.m., 3.31 p.m. This is the last time this the computer was shut down. Okay, let's get into the network information. You can, you can gather a lot of other information, I mean, from the system and, uh, and so on, the last restart, last shutdown, and so on, but... I need to speed up. Let's get to uh, network information. To get network information, we stay in control set 001, but this time, rather than controls, we go to services. Okay, to the services. Then TCBIB, let's find it. Uh, TCB 
TCB IB, what is it? TCB IB, this one. Within TCB IB, there is parameters. And then interfaces, the network interfaces. Okay, the network interfaces. What we can see here, there is two uh, network uh, interfaces. Okay, there is two network interfaces. Let me select one of them. This the second one, yeah, second uh, network interface. That means has some connection. Um, let's try to find the IP address right now. Uh, but before we found the IP address, we managed to find the domain, which is called local domain. That means it's not connected to any domain. Uh, let's find IP address. Um, the, it should be DHCB IP address. This is the IP address. Yeah, here is it. DHCB IP address, which is the IP address of this computer at the time of shutdown was 10.11.11.129. Okay, dot one two nine. And you can see Unicode uh, value is 10.11.11.129. That means we have just managed to find uh, the IP address, the last shutdown time from just the system registry. And you can find many, many more. Also, let's try to find the computer name, the computer name. To find the computer name, let's go back within Windows registry. And this time we go back to controls. Uh, then computer name somewhere here, computer name, here's the computer name. Then computer name, and this is the computer name. The computer name is informant pc okay the username i think from the previous uh, youtube video we found the, um, the username was informant okay and from the previous video we found uh, the owner of uh, the eraser uh, application was informant but the computer name is different it's informant dash pc okay informant pc now we managed to find the computer name. Let's go and dig deeper into the SAM registry file. To the SAM registry file. You need to go back. And here is the SAM. You, you can find the SAM within the config file again. And this is the SAM. Right click. Um, enter is view file structure. And hit OK. Yeah, now we are within the SAM registry file. Let's try to find the last login time, last uh, uh, reset, and last failed login. Okay, last failed login for informant user. Uh, the user information is maintained in uh, the if value. If value, if value is you can manage to get to the if value by going to SAM, then um give me one second users domain then users and then the, the expected user this one that the user that we're looking for why i'm i'm selecting this one because i know the rid the relative identifier from the the portion the end portion of the security identifying sid is for informant and if i highlight the v here the v file and i go down i find the user informant here is the user informant okay here is the user informant who is related to the folder uh, 3e8 within the sam registry file okay within the sam registry file and if you convert uh, 3e8 from hexadecimal to a numbers it will equal to 1000 in this id okay 1000 an RID, sorry. Okay, let's dig deeper in the F value because the F value where we can find the last login, last password reset, and last failed login. 
byte 8 from byte 8 to byte 15 8 to byte 15 are related to last login okay are related to last login 8 to 15 this one sorry 8 from here to 15 here this relate to last login that means the last uh, informant login into this pc was on 25th of march 2015 at 245 at 245 this is the last login from byte 24 to 31 24 to 31 is <clears throat> the date that the password was the last reset this one the password was last reset it's 22nd of march 2015 also from byte 40 to 70 i think 40 is here to 70 represent the date of the last uh, failed login okay last failed login as i said the good thing with in case you can decode with the windows date and time you can select the whole of this information this is last login last reset and last failed login okay and last failed login also you can access the password hit that the user create within the windows environment when he tried to reset the password if you click user password hint here is it the password hint of this user is iman okay i hope you enjoyed this video and you managed to understand how to access the Windows registry using um, in case at least I provide you with some introduction and your tax to uh, investigate uh, more and more thank you very much and see you in the next video